Aaron got two A's on his report card. They were both in the word Aaron, okay? <laughs> Kimmel came out swinging, and a Aaron fired back. I think it's impressive that a man who went to uh, Arizona State and has 10 uh, joke writers can read off a prompter. Boom. It's a he said, he said. In the war of words between the late night host and the Jets quarterback. He genuinely thinks that because God gave him the ability to throw a ball, he's smarter than everyone else. My education at JUCO and my three semesters at Cal that I'm very proud of uh, has worked out for me. It reignited last week. Jimmy felt that Aaron was suggesting on ESPN's The Pat McAfee Show that Jimmy's name might have been in once secret documents involving sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't happen. <laughs> After Jimmy threatened legal action, Pat spoke out. I think Aaron was just trying to talk. We apologize for being a part of it. Kimmel's name was not on the list, but Jimmy said the damage had already been done. When you hear a guy who won a Super Bowl and did the, all the State Farm commercials say something like this, a lot of people believe it. Today, Aaron insisted his words were twisted. Here's what he says he meant. Well, there's excitement about when the corruption anywhere gets exposed and people who are accused of these heinous crimes get exposed, that will be nice that we can get this all out in the open. That's not there. Aaron never intended for people to believe that Jimmy's name was actually on that list. I'm glad, and I think we can agree on something, is that uh, one, those crimes are heinous, and two, I'm, I'm glad you're on the list. Jimmy and Aaron have had a bitter history. But you'll never guess who this whack packer has been getting his medical advice from. Back in 2021, Kimmel mocked the unvaccinated Rogers stance on COVID protocols. I consulted with a now good friend of mine, Joe Rogan. And Jimmy believes a more recent jab may have reignited the fire. He's particularly upset, I think, because I made fun of the fact that he floated this wacko idea that the UFO sightings that were in the news in February were being reported to distract us from the Epstein list. Interesting uh, timing on everything. That was Aaron's theory that he shared, and I mocked. I'm not a victim, I don't give a <laughs> Say whatever the hell you want about me, that's fine. So I'd like to put this uh, to bed to move forward.